Hi, I'm Pastor Rich Warnicke from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Wisconsin, and welcome to our Friday devotion. Oh, it was so much fun this last Friday because we, in the evening, went to Aaron Elementary School and we enjoyed a Lego night from 5.30 to 7.30. There were hundreds of families and children that joined us. The cafeteria was filled with people who were eating, who were playing Legos, who were enjoying Lego challenges and winning prizes. And then in the at the end of the evening, we closed with a devotion, John 3, 16, and reminded them that we have a God who loves us so much that he sent his son into this world to die, to pay for our sins, so that we could have access to God, so that he could live, die, and rise again, reminding us that we now are fully and freely forgiven by God. And then I had the children build crosses as a reminder what, of how much God loved us. And then we invited all our guests to join us on Sunday for worship at 5 o'clock. It was so much fun to see so many guests come visit us, worship with us. There was one family in particular, a mom who brought three of her boys. And after the service, when I asked her, what her background was spiritually, she said, my boys have never gone to a church. And to be honest, my family hasn't gone. I went as a child and my parents still attend a church, but it's very rule oriented. I don't want to go to a church that is rule oriented, that we have to live under a number of demands. I want to go to a church where I know I'm loved. And I said, I think you found the right church. The Apostle Paul reminds these Christians in Galatia that we're not under the law. That we are under grace. That yoke of slavery that so many place upon us as if we can make God love us, that's not the reason why we follow God's law. God says, if you want to live with me, you've got to be perfect. As I, the Lord your God, am perfect. But we can't be. So God loved us so much that at just the right time, God made him who has no sin to be sin for us. And Jesus came to this world and placed himself under the law so that he could redeem those under the law. That's what you and I rejoice in, that we have a Lord who has done everything for us as both God and man so that we could have access to God. He kept God's law in my place, in our place. And because of the faith that we have in Jesus, God has credited our account with his son's holiness, his son's righteousness. We don't have to make God love us. We don't have to live under the law to earn God's love. Jesus didn't come to show us how to live so, th so that we could buy our righteousness with God. No. Jesus lived a perfect life and credits our account with his holiness. That's what you and I rejoice in. We are free free to live, to serve God with our life. Yes, every day we fail, but every day he has forgiven us. We don't have to earn our way to heaven. Jesus did that for us. This is what Paul writes. He says in Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. The people in Galatia were being told that yeah, faith in Christ is important, but you still have to keep God's law to earn your way to heaven. Paul said, no, and so does God. We live under grace. Jesus lived, died, and rose again, and now God's love compels us, moves us to live our lives in service to God and in service to others. We're not under that bond of slavery anymore. Jesus has given us freedom. May we live to serve God in all that we do because we know we are loved and forgiven by our Lord. Until next time.